Casey, the Golden Eagles were finally able to get in the win column on Saturday night here at Golden Eagle Stadium. How were you guys able to get the job done against the tough Vista Marietta team? Well, it was a great night. We, uh, you know, played hard. Um, kids uh, really, uh, you know, laid it all out there in 48 minutes and uh, um, just found enough plays. You know, it was the first week, the first couple weeks, we just couldn't seem to make plays when we needed them. And uh, we uh, got the game close in the last couple minutes and uh, Trey Adolfi had a, a big time interception that uh, kind of sealed the deal for us. But um, you know, our guys just played hard for a good 48 minutes against a very good Vista Marietta team and uh, just kind of stayed the course. Uh, we got off to a better start than we had been the first two weeks and uh, just um, you know kept, kept, kept battling. Our defense played great. We had four turnovers on defense uh, and um, you know, it was just a great night. Who were some of the key standouts that helped you guys win that game, aside from Trey Udofia, who had three well, touchdowns? Defensively, uh, our backers played well. Uh, Tanner Robeson had a bunch of tackles. Uh, Ray Thomas up front, sophomore D lineman, played very well. Um, you know, offensively, uh, you know, Trey had some big plays. The defense we've been seeing have really been attacking us. Look, so really is, uh, you know, makes them susceptible to big plays. We've been able to get Trey the ball. But, uh, you know, our line's getting better. Um, special teams we played a lot better at. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of improving to do. We play a great day of LaSalle team this week, and uh, we just got to continue to work hard each day in practice and get better. You guys played at De La Salle last year, drove down the field on the opening drive, got a, a field goal, and then you guys weren't really able to move the ball much. Is there anything maybe you guys learned from that experience last year that you hope to change this year? Well, we learned a lot. You know, I think just going down there and playing them and seeing what they're about, obviously, uh, you know, our guys know what they're getting in for. Um, but, you know, our JV team had a lot of success against them last year and found a way to win, and we had a few guys last year that played and have kind of been through it. I'm obviously there, the, the standard, I feel, for high school football, and we're going to have to play really hard to you know, uh, real well to be in that game. But, you know, our goal is just to try to put some plays together, try to put some drives together, uh, just keep battling, playing hard, playing physical, re-racking every play, and, uh, you know, trying to get the game, uh, you know, the first six minutes are huge, I think, against them. A lot of times they uh, just get off some great starts and kind of get up so much. I think it's very important for us to, to stay in the game, just to keep working hard, make some plays, and get that thing into the second half, and hopefully in the fourth quarter where it's in, uh, you know, you got an opportunity to make a play in the fourth quarter to, you know, make something happen. Coming off a win and knowing that your JVs beat the De La Salle last year, do you think that gives the guys a little bit of confidence uh, going into this one? A little one? bit of confidence. You know, it's still a different team and a different game. I mean, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's a whole, whole new year and things like that. But obviously, I think competing against them and, uh, you know, winning last year is going to help help a little bit with that. But like I said, I think for us it's going to be important to, you know, start focusing on each play and just uh, we know we're going to be in for a tough competition on Friday and we're going to have to play very, very well for, for us to have an opportunity to win. So I think that's what we're focusing on is just really doing our job, assignment football, Ball, playing hard and being physical for 48 minutes. You guys always get a big crowd here. You expecting an even bigger one? Well, I considering? hope so. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Hopefully they can help us out a little bit. Uh, it was nice last Saturday with the big crowd, and uh, you know, I think that really helped getting behind our backs. So, you know, it's nice being home, not having to travel, and uh, they got to come here. And uh, like I said, you know, things things can happen. So we're just going to be kind of, like I said, trying to get better this week um, and try to get our crowd behind us Friday night, have a nice night, and hopefully uh, – you know, have some magic here Friday night. All right, anything else you'd like to add, Coach? I'm just looking forward to a good week. You know, uh, we start league next week, so it's our last uh, non-league game, the last prep before it all starts. Uh, after this week, everybody's 0-0. Zero and zero. So uh, we're just looking forward, like I said, to improve this week, continue to be practicing hard, and uh, have, a great, have a great atmosphere here Friday night and a great game.